hi guys welcome back to my channel or to my channel my name is sierra and i am so happy words literally cannot explain how i feel about doing this channel and um really getting back in the groove of things as you guys can tell by the title of the video it's all about me quitting my job like 4.5 other million america um americans right now during this great res uh, resignation i left my job as well um Today is January 12th. I quit January 4th and I have not looked back. So I'm here to tell you guys um, about me quitting my job. Where, not where did I work, but kind of the uh, type of work I did, why I left corporate America, signs of a toxic work environment, and the most important question, what am I gonna do now with my life? How am I gonna make money? So if it's something you're interested, please like and subscribe. Definitely tune in. I have so much more content for this channel. I am so excited, guys, genuinely, about the content I'm going to be creating on entrepreneurship, mental health, travel, just a lot of different things that I've really wanted to talk about and do. And so now that I have the chance um, to do it, I am doing it. So let's get this video started. I quit my job. So if you see me looking at my phone, I'm just looking at my notes because I want to make sure I touched everything. Um, so the first thing I'm going to touch is the great resignation. So I'm pretty sure you've heard that phrase before. And sorry if you can hear like cars honking. I'm like by the window ish. So, um, but yes, the great resignation. I'm pretty sure you heard this phrase before in 2021, the great resignation, um, and it's leading into 2022 and I'm pretty sure it'll catapult into something else, but really it's employees taking control of their life and realizing why, you know, just realizing that they don't, they shouldn't be working a job that they're unhappy at. They don't make the money they want to be making. And so many other things. I'll have a definition on the screen somewhere here, but, um, it's all about being in the pandemic and rethinking your life and your life choices. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you, while we're and we're still in this pandemic. So it's weird to say like when we were like, we're definitely still in it, but from 2020 into like the summer of 2021 is where this great resignation is coming from is people one losing their jobs if they figure out okay how am i going to feed my family while i'm waiting for unemployment what am i going to do um and am i even happy where i am at in my life i feel everyone has had some sort of self-reflection maybe not about your career but about other things and for me it definitely was career-wise what am i going to do um it, am I happy in what I'm doing? Like a lot, I, I thought a lot about, am I really happy? And I think me thinking about that realized I'm not as happy as I may seem, um, or may portray. And when I was, when I, you know, being in that, like being quarantined those first three months really made me think about my life and going forward. So a quick background about me, I, <laughs> graduated August of 2021 with my master's in public administration from UCF. And um, from literally the whole pandemic, I was in grad school. So I'm in grad school and I'm thinking, okay, I have to graduate. My goal was to work in politics. I had my whole like life lined out and I interned with politicians. I did the, gr I, I was grinding. I did the work and realized this doesn't make me happy. But I thought, okay, Sierra, you're getting your master's. This is the only thing you, like, that you should be doing. And I realized how unhappy I was. And I was like, why am I gonna get something that doesn't make me happy? So during the pandemic, I started a business um, named Soleil Solace. It was like skincare, selling handmade soaps and lotions. And what I loved about my business, um, besides you know making my customers happy and making money, I loved building it. The website building, I loved. The branding, going through it, the creative marketing, the development, putting all these elements together to literally get a vision or a thought onto paper, then onto real life where you're selling a product, that excites me. So much of it. And I had so much, and I, and I still have so much curiosity behind it that I just loved it so much. And so I started freelancing the summer of 2021 and I was still working as a, as a, as a graduate assistant um, when I was a grad student, and then I had to graduate. So I knew, okay, I'll be losing my job in August because I'm graduating. 
Um, I'm freelancing right now. I'm really loving this because people saw how I did my business Soleil. They were asking me questions. Oh, how do I make a website? How do I brand? How do I get my colors? How do I tell my, um, my story? What is brand strategy? And all of these things I was just learning. And I was like, you know what? I can turn this in to something and make money from it. So that was, I was doing that in the summer and teaching, but I knew my teacher was going to come to an end because I was graduating. And so with that, I said, okay, I need to find a corporate job. And I felt a lot of pressure because I knew I was going to move to New York. It was my dream. It still is. Like me living here in New York, I love it. Um, so but I was making a move from Florida to New York. I did not want to only freelance because I freelancing – it, you like and I, I was just starting out, so nothing was steady income for me. So I said, you know what? I have a master's. I'm gonna get a corporate job because that's what you do when you're an adult. And it all happened so fast. I got a job. I was on LinkedIn, just putting in different search words, finding something like business consultant, small cons, you know, associate at the consulting agency, all entry level stuff, and um, you know, anything in research because I had a lot of analytical background. And I ended up finding the job that I had here in New York. And so I worked in corporate for six months. <laughs> uh, very short six months, clearly, because I left. Um, but I knew in my heart it was not for me. And I guess now I'll move into why I quit. So I quit because I was unhappy. I felt like the work I was doing was redundant. I did not feel valued um, and just crazy unreal expectations. My commute, just and like there were so many reasons why I quit, but the main things definitely was the commute, which I knew was going to be an, um, an issue, but there's more to the commute. So just going to break down a regular day for you guys. I had to wake up. So I live in Brooklyn. But I don't live like in Williamsburg or even Prospect Park, if you know New York. I live deep in Brooklyn, like uh, close to like Mill Basin. I'm, I'm, I'm only 25 minutes from Coney Island. So I live pretty deep. And then my job was located in Midtown, which is near Times Square. I had to wake up at 6 a.m., take the 657 bus, uh, express bus, I would get off in Lower Manhattan, even though the bus went to Midtown, I, the, the walk from where I would get off the bus to my job was like a 10 to 12 minute walk, which could possibly make me late. So I would take the bus, get off um, in Lower Manhattan at Rector Street, take the Q or the R train um, from Rector Street to Midtown, and the train station was right in front of my job, and I would get to work at like 8.15, 8.20. Mind you, I worked 9 to 6, not 9 to 5. So... Then I would work all day, had an hour lunch, get off at 6, catch the 612 bus, and I get home till 738. So as you can see, a very long day. So I got home, I was exhausted, and I was drained. My boss told me that I need to be working 8 to 7, or if I'm starting work at 9, leave at 7, or start at 8, still leave at 7. Like, it was an 8 to 7 thing. And even though I was only getting paid from 9 to 6 because they wanted me to take on more work, do more accounts. I worked for like a for a research company um, that like their main clients, there was three different parts. But in the area I was working with, their main clients were hedge, were hedge funds. So it's all on like accounts. And they wanted me to take on more work. And he's saying work 8 to 7, whatever you have to do, take on more work, which was draining me and I was just feeling like I, I, I can't do this um the first two months of my job I cried because I was it, we were remote and I was just it was so chaotic and I just had really bad imposter syndrome um when we were back in the office it just didn't get any better I just felt like I just knew me being in corporate wasn't for me the drinking was excessive the eating out all the time was very excessive and it wasn't drinking like Oh, cheers to celebrate. It was like, cheers, we're in hell together. Let's drink away. And I didn't want to live like that. Every Friday at five, my job, um, our bosses would bring um, alcohol to our desk. And so on Fridays, we worked nine to five. Monday through Thursday was nine to six. And they would bring like White Claw and like beer. And, all the, and we would just drink, literally just be drinking um, 
at our desk. It was a lot of drinking, going out, happy hours, which in the beginning I was like, oh, this is really fun. Like we're doing happy hours, we're going out, getting all these free meals, snacks, all you can drink, whatever. But I was, mentally, I was like very fatigued. And I just felt like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Was this the corporate life I was like waiting for? And I just got unhappy. Like, even thinking about it now, it makes me feel like just drained all over again because that type of working to drinking to getting back up only five. Like there was nights I literally slept only five, four hours instead to wake up again and do it again, do it again, just to go to work and feel like anxious to be there. That was another reason I felt very, I had very bad anxiety at my old job working in corporate because I felt like I need to be doing better and better and better and better to get this praise always. And when I was praised, I didn't even like accept it. I was like, okay, thanks. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, how do, you know, like, how can I get better? How can I, you know, make sure that, that they see me and praise me all the time? Like I just physically couldn't accept a compliment because I wanted to, um, always be better, which is not a bad thing to want to be better. I think it was my fear of failure and their reaction that made me always be like walking on eggshells because I knew if I did anything wrong, no matter how tiny, big it is, or even me not do like anything that was off for my manager, I knew that when I got in that one on one meeting, he was going to rip me a new one. And it was just for me, too much, personally. Personally, it was too much. And that's why I left. I couldn't handle the anxiety. Mentally, I was drained and I was oh, I, I just felt cranky and nasty and that I should always be drinking. Like, in, living in New York is hard because there's like alcohol everywhere and everybody's out and drinking. And usually I can control myself. I would go excessive. Like, I would purposely try to get blacked out on a weekday after work. I would purposely try to, like... And and it wasn't coming, like, from I want to drink and have a good time. It was like, I don't know how to cope, so I'm going to drink excessively. And that is, for me, where there's a problem. Because it's one thing to, like, drink and be like, I'm having a good time, I'm celebrating, like... I generally am happy versus I'm unhappy. I don't know how to cope because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I got a master's degree. I'm supposed to be working in corporate. This is everything I had lined up for me. Why am I failing? Why am I not happy at what I wanted? Um, And that was hard because I told myself, it's like I manifested me working at this corporate job. I told myself, you know, you're graduating in August, Sierra, find a corporate job, live in New York, have this New York life you, en- you like you envisioned. And I had it all. But I felt terrible. I had it all to what I wanted, what I imagined, what I envisioned for myself as a new graduate coming out of a grad program. But yeah, I still wasn't happy. And that's why I left. I generally um, wasn't happy. And I think when you are in a position where you feel unhappy, you're excessively drinking to cope with your feelings, um, you should do a lot of evaluation and definitely consider, like, you know, should I leave? And that's what I did. So... I left. I so I guess I'll go into now what I'll be doing, which is very exciting, but how I transitioned out and now what I'm doing. So since I can't, when I, my birthday's in November, hashtag Scorpio, and I took a week trip to Jamaica, I came back and my boss was like, you know, you leaving really, you like, you set yourself back, you taking your PTO, and was just, you know, a jerk to me. And that's when it said that, Sierra, you need to leave. Because I felt like I'll be making my six months 
February in in February I, I would have been officially six months and so I was like okay just start looking so by February you can leave and I was praying about it every day because when I left I did not want to go back to corporate I said you know what I want to go back to what I love doing in the summer website building brand building um, working with small businesses e-commerce that's what I want to go back in to do I'm on LinkedIn I'm on indeed I'm searching 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 applying um, and I'm getting no callbacks like it goes silent and I'm thinking okay I need to get my foot in the door but my experience is so limited that it's like I just thought I can I, I can't get my foot in this door what am I gonna do and I, I tell you guys I pray to God and a few days later, I'm on Instagram, like scrolling, and I saw my good friend Emily, who is who was my client in the summer. I did I manage her social media accounts. She reposted a flyer saying like we're hiring, and I saw social media coordinator, and I was like, okay, boom, I'm gonna apply, qualified or not, entry level or I'm applying. And so I click on the, the like the the post. I went to the flyer, and I realized it was for a small marketing agency, and that the founder was here in New York. And I'm thinking, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So I messaged my friend Emily. I said, hey girl, I'm gonna apply. If you can give me a letter of reference, recommendation, whatever you can put any good word for me, I would really appreciate it. She knows me as a person, and um, she, I was her social media manager in the summer, and uh, thankfully she put a very good word in for me. I applied, got two interviews, and I got my offer letter. I believe it was the 23rd of December. It was like right before Christmas. And I'm thinking, thank you, God, and thanks, Santa. Great gift. I got my offer letter, and I was so happy. I was, I was jumping up and down. And for my job, they gave us the, that last week of December off, so we would come back after New Year's. And I was like, okay, I have a solid amount of time to think, do I want to leave in a week? Well, do I want to give in my like a week or two weeks? Because in the offer letter, I said that I would start on the 17th. And I'm like thinking to myself, okay, do you want to stay with these people for another week? Do you want to be miserable? Do you want to just work a little bit more to get the check? I was adding up like the dates, seeing what, what my last paycheck will be, really kind of just getting everything figured out. And... Um, I said, you know what, I'll decide on January 3rd, the night before we have to go back to work, like the day before we have to go back, what to do. Because I, I list out all the pros and cons, but I really went to be like, okay, have a clear mind and decide then. Monday came on the 3rd, I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm not working Tuesday. I woke up Tuesday morning and I felt the same way. And it was important to me to not act on emotion, but really to just think everything do. Think of my last paycheck, every just really corner everything out and go with my gut, not be impulsive and be like, oh yeah, I'm done. Or yeah, two weeks till you guys go, and then I'm like miserable. I really, really wanted to fully get everything and go with my gut. And that's what I did. And my gut told me to go. And so Monday morning I uh sent in my resignation. Um, I spoke to HR the next day, did my exit interview, sent back my laptop. Thankfully, I have such good, supportive um, ex-colleagues. Some of are my friends. They're very, very supportive when I left. I told the closest ones to me, like that, like literally like at 8 a.m. that morning, like, hey, guys, heads up. Um, but I've gotten nothing but like, like a lot of support. And now um, I feel great. I genuinely feel like, this is a chapter that I can close and wake up and be in my purpose. So that's why I quit my job because I was not happy. I wasn't valued and I'm moving into a career that I've wanted to be in for so long and got the chance. And I'm, we're now working on my consulting agency on the side. So I'll be doing social media managing for a small marketing agency here in New York for their clients, creating content, posting it, strategizing, also, I have my side business, which is La Claire Consulting and Design, where I do social media management as well, web design, brand strategy, um, email marketing, so many different things that I'm working on really scaling that, and now YouTube. So um, thank you guys really for 
the support, listening, and I just really want to leave off on this note that everything you need is already inside of you. You already have it. And I'm saying that because I felt like if I had the corporate job, I would be good. If I had all this money, I would be happy. If I had X, Y, and Z, you know, it'll make me happy. Or And when I was looking for a job and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have this. What am I going to do? Yeah, I really, I did have it. I had experience freelancing and I finessed my resume, which one day I'll do a video on my resume. It looks really, really good. And um, me wanting all those other things didn't make me happy. So what you need is in you. You need yourself. Save yourself. No material thing is going to come and save you and like magically make you happy. So you deserve nothing but happiness. And I cannot wait for this channel um, to just be making content for you guys. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.